So from November 10 to 14, nagborakay ako. It is the wedding day mismo nung pinsan ko. We start this day with no other than a breakfast buffet. Very happy ako dahil may show my for breakfast. On the other hand, uh, medyo nalungkot ako dahil walang bacon. Bacon is something that is very essential for me sa mga breakfast buffet. In fact, if nagbe-breakfast buffet ako, I think the make or break for me would be bacon. Breakfast buffet pa ba yun kung walang bacon? Never mind though because I definitely enjoyed ang pancake and show my ko. Back in the room by 10 a.m., not at all feeling very tired at this point kasi 8 hours yung tulog ko. Instead of trying to get some sleep. What instead we tried to feel was uh, hunger. So eto kami, trying to feel hungry again by uh, moving around. Oh, di ba? Saktong kalat lang. Shorts ba yan? Saan yung bacon? <laughs> Hanggang wala pang butas ang brief, gagabigin natin yun. <laughs> We arrived earlier than my cousins and friends uh, two seasons. So nag Jonas kami. And come to think about it, dito nagsimula yung milkshake obsession ko. Every single day since nakauwi ako ng Boracay, I have all the photos to prove it. Nagpapadala ako sa Discord natin every so often. Balik tayo sa two seasons, Benny fam. Two seasons is very famous for mainly two things. One is their oyster sisig, which we're looking at right now. And the other thing, their four cheese pizza. There it is. Medyo mixed reviews siya sa akin because it felt like I was eating flatbread with a lot of cheese on top. I'm not sure at this point if busog pa rin ako from breakfast buffet or naumay lang ako sa cheese. Um, oyster sisig naman, medyo tinikman ko lang. Hindi ako ganun ka fan ng oysters talaga, Benny family. We're back in the hotel at this point. Ito yung suot namin. First time to attend the beach wedding, by the way. And by the time we arrive at the wedding, nagkaubusan na yung seats. So we ended up sitting in a place kung saan malakas yung araw. And di pa nag-start yung wedding at this point. But if you remember Tita Olma, nanay ni Christoph, Tita Olma officiated the wedding, that's her, at a non-legal capacity. I can definitely say that this is the wedding that I felt the most personal connection to. Dahil walang structure ng katulad sa kasal sa loob ng simbahan, kumbaga may testimonials, pwedeng humirit ng kalokohan, which you would be reluctant to do. If you were in a church, di ba? By the end of this wedding, it felt as if sobrang mas kilala ko yung couple compared to church weddings where we only really get to know the couple at the reception. So congrats to Dan and Jack. Pre-reception to Benny fam and the ceremony lasted for an hour. Maraming photo ops with family and friends. So we took the time to snap our own photos and videos. Next up, we have the actual reception. Ang saya lang din na bawat mesa may sariling bote ng patron. My cousin Danica is very notorious for loving to drink. Lahat ng tao binigyan ng shot glass na nakarap sa neck mo so that wala kang palusot kapag inofferan ka ng shot. Diba? Bad drip na. <laughs> so classic entrance by the way by the couple here. Can you imagine kung lahat ng tao nakasparklers ng ganun? Diba? And then papasok yung couple sa gitna. Ang ganda tingnan ng photos noon. Grabe. But then, may pa-surprise yung couple mismo. May choreographed dance pa. And then, that's my drink. There is no shame in admitting na Red Bull ang iniinom ko during this part of the night. Take note, nagising kami 8 a.m. for breakfast buffet. Nag-Jonas pa, nag-lunch pa, kung ano-ano pa yung ginawa. So at this point, I'm beginning to feel my age. <laughs> so first choice of drink here was definitely Red Bull. This is the couple. If you look here, that's Dan. This is Jack. Um, si Ate si Ben. By the way, maid of honor ni Dan, yung bride, is her sister. And they are identical twins. After you take a photo with the bride and groom, you now get your own food. And my God, every piece of food on that buffet was really delicious. I filled myself up for sure. If you've been to Boracay before, alam nyo, di ba, na may fire dancers. To see it again after such a long time, it was a spectacular sight to see. I don't know if they signed waivers for this. Then you see Mommy Keiko. Wild, diba? And then see James also. See James like we freak out. Oh man!
Ito na, nagsisimula na yung inom dito, Benny fam. If you watch part one, there was a competition for the best Paro Paro G. And you know it, your boy won. I don't know if I'm doing that right. We got to try the rocks tequila. I have to say, it makes sense kung bakit yung ino on the rocks to. Apparently, sobrang suabe niya. And it was such a good vibe the entire time. Si Baby di nagpapatalo. Grabe, walang takot. Si Baby, game lang sumayaw. And then ayan, binuhat syempre yung couple. So sobrang saya lang talaga. Take note, that was only the post-reception. So we had the pre-reception, the actual reception. There was the post-reception. This is the after party, and this is when things really go wild. The real drinking begins here. No, no, it's me dancing! Yes. This part caught everybody by surprise. My drag performance! Tinan niya, Benny Pam! Ang dami yung underwear! Galing, di ba? May drag performance. By the way, that's the groom, si Jack. And then, ito na si Baby Zack. Sobrang dami pa rin energy. Literally, running around the entire venue for maybe two, three hours. And ang saya lang din kasi ang laki ng space na pwede niyang takbohan. Ayan, no? <laughs> Sobrang hype ni Zack. We're already gone at this point. And then of course, the drinking doesn't stop. None of us thought na mauubos namin yung pin repair na bote. But I think by the end of the night, there were only maybe two or three bottles. Mga pinagpipilian na. And I couldn't believe na isa sa mga last choices for the night was uh, Cuervo. Because there were that many options bago mag Cuervo. What a night. Everything ends at around 1 a.m. Just the right time to end a 16-hour day. Very, very exhausted. We needed a little rest. And the next day would have been Yacht Day, which will be a part of Barakay Part 3. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time.